Hey, and welcome to Beyond Lunch. I am your host, Bakani Murray of Off The Mark IP Solutions. A great topic today. I've been getting several articles pushed to me, um, or a couple of articles pushed to me regarding copyrights and infringements. And what it's looking like, the theme is, you have these big dollar corporations who are basically copying the work of independent creatives. And so I want to talk about that. I want to talk about what infringement is, what it's not, and what it what copyrights protect and what you really need to do in order to protect yourself. If you've been in the group uh, and you've seen the article, the first one was um, a Christmas commercial. You had Cameron Henderson versus O Navy. And the second article that was sent to me was an artist um, was relating to an artist named Sarah Honey Young. And she has this movement um, and this project that she's working on called American Woman. And I really like the project of um, really depicting um, black women in America in their roles. And it's kind of a complicated relationship based off the history. So she's working on this project. And lo and behold, CNN just dropped something also titled American Woman. And it has the very same feel to it. Feel to it. So we want to talk about that and, and see whether or not that's actually... Um, infringement and what you can do about that. So let's just start with, let's start with, with honey, I'm going to drop the links to these things in the, in the um, comments. But let's, let's start with um, Sarah Honey. And I, there was an article by, by Very Smart Brothers, um, Damien Young. Um, so his cousin is the artist and she is, here we go, she is Sarah Honey. And she has this product, like I said, it's called American Woman, and she's been working on it. She received a grant from Pittsburgh to come create this project, and it's a um, um, photography project, which is going to be expanded into an art exhibit and um, a documentary and some other things. But she hadn't completed the project. She started it in the summer of 2016, but the project has not been completed. In the meantime, while she's trying to get her project completed, um, she sends her cousin, Damien, the Very Smart Brothers, an article from CNN. Let's see. And they look so much alike that he's actually like, hey, congratulations, you're working with CNN, that's, that's pretty cool. And she's just like, no, that's not my project. Um, and so then the question becomes, and, and, and the thing that stood out to me in his article is that he felt that CNN should have done some type of um, homework. They should have researched the subject and seen if anybody else was doing it before they did their own. But when it comes to copyrights, this is the thing you have to know. Copyrights have three elements, or really four elements. They have three elements. And so the elements are that it's original work in a fixed, tangible form. And then the fourth one would be that it has some kind of minimal um, amount of creativity. And the one thing we want to talk about right now is this thing about original. Some people have a hard time understanding that just because copyrights has the word copy in it doesn't mean that they're talking about actually copying something and they're not referring to something being similar. Oh, let's see. So it's possible, it's very possible to have two similar works that are both original and can have their own independent copyrights, which is the case in this because I have to read an article, he does not, no one's alleging that CNN plagiarized Honey's work. They're not saying that, they're just saying that they're very similar and that CNN should have done some due diligence to make sure there wasn't any other project out there so they wouldn't be um, hurting independent artists. I think that's a lot of responsibility to put on anybody. If I'm going to write a book on the subject, you know, if it's something that I want to write about, I'm going to write about it, you know. I might do some work and see if there's, you know, what everyone else is doing and make sure that it's unique to me, but you really don't have to because as long as I don't have any outside influences on my book, then it's my work. The thing is, ideas, you can't help but to be influenced by what you experience in the world around you. That's just anybody. So if you read a book, if you get hit by a truck, or if you have different things that happen to in your life, those are going to affect you, you know? And sometimes people have similar experiences, sometimes they don't. Sometimes those experiences manifest themselves in ways that are similar. 
Um, and in this case right here, I would argue to say that you have two women who's one, the, the one lady is white from CNN is white and then you have Honey who's black. I would argue to say that they have two different experiences, but they both have this idea, the common ground is being a woman in America, but their experiences are different. But out of that common ground, they had the idea of coming up with this similar project. And if you look at it, when you look at it, what you notice is that the still pictures are very similar. You have a group of women or images of women, and then you have this American theme on there. And so then the question is, is that infringement? Like, is this just happenstance or did they copy? Um, you, we really don't know. I do know that both women start have been working on their project for a year. I do know that um, Honey, she's still raising money and working on her project. It's not completely out there, but the concept is spelled out on on the um, on her website. So here's some things, some takeaways from that. Is one, just remember that just because it's similar does not automatically mean that it's a copy. You're going to have the burden to prove that it, that this person copied you, that they had access to your work, access to what you were doing, and did something similar. You're going to have to be able to prove that. You're also going to have to um, keep in mind that when you're working, especially as a creative, you got to, it's your responsibility to get the work done. The world does not stop because you haven't finished your project. You have to do what it takes to get it done because if not, someone's going to beat you to the punch. That's exactly why ideas are not protected. It's the execution of ideas that's protected. <coughs> Excuse me. For that very reason, because we want pe we want this work out there. We don't want people just sitting on things and then having the ability to exclude, exclude, exclude others for doing something similar when they haven't even executed the project or finished the project. It's not fair to anyone. So that's thing number one. That's thing. So that's issue number one. It's the originality. Um, knowing what original is, and I always give the example of, you know, you have two people locked in a basement somewhere, um, and they're writing about their experience, and no one has any access to one another, they don't have access to the internet, um, so they can't copy, they don't know what the other one is doing, but based off their experience, they end up writing something that's very similar to one another. If there's no copying, there's no copyright infringement. So that's, that's number one. Number two, now we're gonna talk, we're gonna shift gears a little bit. We're gonna talk about Cameron Henderson and um, Old Navy. So Cameron Henderson, I've been watching him, um, I don't watch him on YouTube, but on Facebook his videos come up and I like the ones where he has, um, I think her name is Starkeisha, and it's like a quartet of women. Hey, Nicole. Um, a, a, a quartet of him, like basically him dressing up in different characters and singing. And this is, and I'm actually talking about the um, article that you sent me, Nicole. And so, he posted on Facebook, I'm sorry, on Instagram a couple weeks ago, like, did Old Navy, you know, copy me? Did they, did they jack my style? That post has since been removed, I will, I will say, because I went to it to kind of prepare for this. And it's been removed, but we're still going to talk about it. And what I want to talk about as it relates to Cameron is that, is that, Copyrights protect the execution of ideas, not the ideas themselves. So, in the videos, what you have, you have a theme of Christmas, because it's Christmas time. You have this, this concept of a mashup, which is with basically taking two or more songs, taking elements from those songs, and putting them together to create this new song. And that has been around for, you know, almost a decade. And then you also have this idea of carolers or singers, he has carolers in his, and he's been. This is the second year that he's done that. Oh, Navy. When you look at the commercial in its entirety, I don't think they're carolers. You just basically have these people that live in this neighborhood that just come out of their house and just bust out in song because that's what people do, I guess, when there's snow. I don't know. Um, but just those concepts in and of themselves, they're not original. He didn't create those concepts. Um, and Old Navy didn't exactly copy what he was doing. Like, he doesn't, he, they don't have anyone dressing up and playing different characters. Um, like, the whole, like, there's nothing that exactly that they're copied. And then I guess what you want to talk about when you talk, when you discuss the copying in the videos, 
does that really qualify for that minimum threshold of of creativity having a, a video of Christmas carols singing mashups and I would say that it doesn't now I'm not saying that Cameron's not talented he is very talented and he's very creative but what I'm saying is that what Old Navy did was executed their own version of the idea the idea of Christmas carols and mashups and and does that make sense? And people do it all the time. And what I always think about, you know, people always say, well, I don't really want to steal my idea. Well, you don't have um, dictatorship over ideas. If that's the case, there will only be one place to get a burger um, drive through and that would be McDonald's, right? They had this idea of creating fast food. Back in the day, you used to, you know, a car hop would bring it to you and you would sit and eat. They had this idea of fast food. Well, if uh, McDonald's was able to have a lock on the um, idea itself, there would be no other, there would be no Burger King, no Wendy's, no nothing. But they were able to have a lock on the execution of the idea. Um, and that's just for, for anything. So, and if you look at commercials, I mean, just think about vacuum cleaning commercials. How many times have you watched a commercial where there's a vacuum cleaner, and there's a house, and there's dirt? No one has the, that, that locked down. Now, when, when, you come, when it comes to copyrights, where you start to be able to exclude others is when you have your script. And your script has, you know, certain words and certain things in it, then those people, that script is protected by copyrights. But this element or this idea of someone cleaning up dirt with the vacuum cleaner, that's not protected. Just like some, the idea of having someone, um, someone singing during Christmas, Christmas songs, that's not really protected. All right? And so, like I said, I just want to jump on and talk about those two things because um, I've had two different people send me two different articles about things that, that look like copyright infringement. And I'll be honest with you, with the first one, with the honey situation, you know, it is kind of suspect. If you look at it, it is really suspect. But they started at the same time. We don't know, and no one's um, alleging that CNN has plagiarized. That's thing number one. Um, because then the burden will be on Honey to prove that they did in fact do that. Which is very possible because she has the, a, a website and the concept is on there. Right. Let's see. That makes sense. People in his comments keep saying that he should get paid. People don't understand. People, I mean, and uh, they, 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 they really don't understand. People just don't understand um, intellectual property and what what they are. People still think that someone can steal their idea. Those same people that say that he should get get paid are the same people thinking that someone can steal an idea, you know, and they should get paid for having an idea. And that's not how that works. That's not, I mean, that's not how any of it works. They didn't take his, I didn't see anything in Old Navy's video that put me in the mind of Cameron. Like I watched before you sent that to me, like I've seen that Old Navy commercial several times and it did not put me in the mind. And I, and I had previously seen Cameron's, um, the one that video he did this year for his Christmas carols. It didn't even put me in the mind of it, like at all. Like there weren't two old people looking kind of crazy. You didn't have carolers singing a combination of, you know, it just, it just, it just didn't put me in the mind of it. I, I saw a Christmas commercial. But um, you just got to be careful who you take advice from. I don't know why he took the, the video down. Maybe someone, maybe he talked to someone and realized that, hey, this is not infringement. Maybe that's why he took it down because that post has been deleted. But thank you so much for sharing it. And that's what I want you guys to do. My goal for 2018 is to um, produce more content, which, is me, which for me means being in the group, being more active in the group. My goal is to come here once a week and do videos like this, and, it, and it's easier, um, and I think it's more relevant for everybody in the group. When you see stuff like this, share it, you know, see it, send it to me, tag me in it, put it in my um, private box, email to me, and that way we can have a discussion on, on things that really, like world, real world, um, examples of what intellectual property looks like and I think that will help everyone kind of understand what is and what isn't all right well cool beans are there any questions anybody got any questions while I'm here I've been like writing all day I'm writing a blog post too and it's bananas but um 
if anybody has, has anybody questions, definitely, um, definitely let me know. And if not, be on the lookout for the, for the what? For the blog post. I, I wrote it out. I just have to type it. I think I'm going to pay my daughter a couple of dollars to, to type it up and then I'll go and tighten it up. Because I don't feel like, I write it, I'm old school, I write to get these ideas out of my head and then I type it up and clean it up. And Nicole, are you feeling better? I know you want to Well, all right, I am. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me on Beyond the Launch TV, and we will talk to you later.